Hello there and welcome to another jaw dropping IEM review. Today we have the TRN Conch and the Simgot EW200. In my opinion, these two are the best you can get for around 35 to 40 US dollars. And I will be showing you some other competitors as well and comparing these to them, but these are the best ones. All the sets I'm about to show you have been bought with my own money and all thoughts and opinions are my own. I have included timestamps in the video so you can jump to the points that interest you. I'm going to be looking at uh, five sets today, so the video is going to be long. I'm going to be starting with the comparison, so these two versus the other three. And the other sets in the comparison will be the Moondrop LAN, the Hertz Audio Heart Mirror Zero, and the Kiwi Ears Cadenza. And then I will be reviewing the Simgot first and the Conch last. All right, let's get on with it. So here we are with the comparisons, starting off with the Moondrop LAN. There's a waifu if you like waifus. Um, yeah, okay. So here's the set, and let's bring out the main contenders. We already know that the plan doesn't fit these, but these are the ones we will be comparing them to. Let's put them here. Okay, so the Moondra plan. Um, out of the gate, the build is good, but the comfort is not not wholly there. Um, I don't know exactly what it is. It might be the it might be the nozzle angle for me. It could be that it's a little bit too aggressive. Uh, comfort in use is okay because it's double vented, so there's no pressure problems. Nozzle dimension is is okay. It's not too large. Um, so the sound, it's not a bad REM at all. The only problem is that the the clarity of the sound is better on the conch and the EW200 because the note weight seems to be a little bit too light so there's a certain overall problem with, with uh, impulse and impact and that makes intense music like metal and rock and so on not as fun the meats still have good presence presence like I, I like uh, electric guitars on this and in, in pop music you have more musicality with this, uh, especially if the songs are mixed a little warmer. It's, it's actually nice to listen to. Um, and there's even some rumble to the bass. And treble is good. Uh, the problem just simply is that these two are better. So I can't recommend it, but if you have a really good sale on the LAN or maybe second hand or something, um, yeah, sure. It's the clear choice over the Kiwi Ears Cadenza. Uh, tip rolling, I did um, Dunu SNS, uh, all Soft Ears, Ultra Clears, Asla, Zelastex. Um, they help with the fit, they help with the comfort, and they sound good. That's the LAN. Uh, unfortunate, its time is starting to be past, but there's nothing outright wrong with getting this set if you can find it for really cheap. And next in the comparisons we have the Hertz Sound Heart Mirror Zero. Again, has a waifu box art if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, sure, sure, yeah. So, as far as my preference goes, I really like this sound. It's more of a technical set, maybe not an analytical set in, in the strictest sense. Specific instrument music, piano, violin, stuff like that. Then, yeah, yeah. Especially loved listening to Ruichi Sakamoto on this. It's not a bad bass head set at all. Like bass, bass uh, is lacking. It's it's tame. It's there. It's okay quality, but the quantity is is not much. 
and that's how the treble shines. That's how the upper mids and treble come a bit forward. The bass being lean will give it uh, room. The build is good, again, metal, just like the LAN. I like this uh, much uh, smoother polished um, shell. It's really good, not, not very heavy. Comfort isn't up to, up to the higher standard that the other sets again bring. And once again, I think it's this really quite aggressive nozzle angle. It might be. So, lack of bass, obviously, not for all libraries. Listening to pop music, it kind of leaves me wanting. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like listening to nightclub audio where somebody bought cheap amplifiers. <laughs> so the technicalities are nice. It overtakes the LAN, the Moondrop LAN, definitely. Uh, separation is not the best, but otherwise techs are good. Uh, ear tips, Dunu Candy worked really nicely on this. It balances it out a little bit, slightly narrower bore, and that uh, slightly helps with the lack of bass. But a lot of uh, ear tips work fine, and the stock tips were fine as well. And the box for the Kiwi Ears Cadenza is pretty basic. It's good looking though, uh, similar style as they do all their sets. Uh, here are the color options, it comes in red, blue, green and purple, and mine is obviously the blue. Because blue is the best uh, in sound. Blue sounds the best, trust me, bro. <laughs> okay. The Kiwi Ears Cadenza. Um, you might have seen this set in videos that have beginners listening to or less audiophile people listening to all kinds of sets from all kinds of price ranges uh, from 40 US dollars to thousands and in those videos I've seen a few where the cadenza has been the preference and people uh, have thought that this could cost like maybe hundreds of maybe or maybe even more in US dollars and I can understand that if you can find this for really cheap it's very comfortable it's a nice resin shell the nozzle is a bit on the larger side but you can still enjoy this I think most people will not have issues. Maybe if you have the smallest ears, uh, you might be having trouble finding ear tips that uh, make this a bit larger nozzle fit. It's vented and so on. But these reviews mainly are for sound. And in the end, that's what I'm gonna say. That I can't recommend this because of the sound. For everything else, I can recommend it, if you find it for really cheap, because you're probably gonna enjoy it, and it looks gorgeous, comes in many colors and so on. So yeah, the Cadenza, um, these two, again, absolutely wipe the floor with this set. Technicalities are basic average, uh, could be fine again, but these two put the technicalities to shame, and the timbre is a little bit fuzzy, a little bit soft. It's not really accurate, or in that sense, uh, natural and neutral. And um, uh, ear tips won't save it. I tip roll this a lot. I tip roll every set I have, and um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. But the stock tips are fine, and nothing, nothing really improves on on basically what is a driver that is lacking in performance. So that's the comparisons. Next we will be moving on to the review of the Simgot EW200. Simgot EW200 Maze. Uh, Simgot has a theme of naming things and putting 
themes of random, <laughs> kind of seemingly random things on their sets. But that's, uh, I guess it's fun. At least the box looks cool. So, um, yeah. This is a absolute monster of a set. Build is great. Metal shell, vented, mirror polish, so of course it's gonna gonna um, attract fingerprints really easily. Instant smudge. Yeah, but that's what it is. So keep a <laughs> microfiber cloth with you. Comfort is great. It's again probably comes down to nozzle dimensions. The nozzle is kind of average, uh, maybe slightly below six millimeters. In its price range, this set just destroys most other sets. The trouble is, of course, that you kind of need to be a treble head because this set, this set is very spicy. It's bright. Simgot has a lot of sets that are bright. That means a lot of upper mids or especially treble energy. So let's start with the base. The base does leave me wanting a little bit if I need to nitpick. It's definitely more than the heart mirror. Uh, it's not a like a night and day difference, but it's clearly more quantity and more quality as well. So uh, the base is not overemphasized, so it lets the treble present itself more. Um, but there's still a good amount of base. The mids are really good. They feel clear. They have a right kind of note weight. There's nice impulse. Uh, like it makes pop music work really great. Uh, again, like I really love the sound of many electric guitars in different kind of tunings. So for a lot of music, uh, gives them the crunch, the the nice growling sound of a of a guitar. And um, yeah, but still for pop music, absolutely works great. It's, it's like a similar case as with the, with the heart mirror in that sense, that if the mix is warm, uh, this set becomes like very musical. And especially this set becomes like a beast, like a musical beast. <laughs> and of course with the upper mids the vocals are great. I, I would actually go as far as to say that the vocals on the EW200 are probably the best under 50 US dollars. Uh, so the treble, uh, the treble, it offers like a like a bit of air, and the presence is just way more than the other sets. Uh, if the spice isn't too much, this this seriously can be all you need. Like I can see people just buying this and having their clean sounding daily dri driver that basically plays every all kinds of music well. It's an absolutely incredible IEM for uh, for about 40 US dollars. And the technicalities, uh, I would say it lacks slightly, like ever so slightly behind the conch. It seems to be on par with the Heart Mirror Zero. Uh, it's still absolutely great for the money, uh, and the and the timbre is is neutral, so there's absolutely no issues in the in the text or the timbre, but the conch has an edge in in there. So ear tips, I actually really liked the soft ears ultra clears on this one. And the, the, they sound great with these kind of like balanced medium bore tips. Um, I, I didn't like um, wider bore, bore tips at all because the, the, the spice is already a lot. I tried like Tangsu Sanjai wide bores and <laughs> it was way too much. And narrow bore ear tips like the final audio type E will 
I, I think they muddle the treble. They, they, they don't play well with the, with the main strength of the set. So you will want balanced ear tips, which will be medium bore. But yeah, what an amazing set. It's magnificent. All right, let's see what the conch has to say. So here we are with the final set of today, the TRN Conch. Again, being one of the top sets at this uh, price range, it's a great all-rounder, absolutely. And it has some secret weapons <laughs> in its sleeve. The Conch has tuning nozzles you can change. And there's three kinds of them. There's the red, there's the blue, and there's the black. And changing the nozzles is really simple. Take off the ear tip and it's simply screwed. So lefty loosey, righty tidy. And the, the nozzles screw onto this plate provided in the accessories. You just put it in there. Usually a smart thing is to rotate the, it the wrong way, the loosening way, until you can feel it click and then you know that it clicked into the into the groove and now you can so it won't uh, damage the groove that's a basic mechanics trick you can use with all kinds of screws but yeah the nozzles they provide you basically with two types of um, tuning i would say because the blue and the black which would be transparency for the blue and reference for the black uh, they are pretty similar they're both very spicy very open sounding uh, treble heavy upper mids heavy with the reds they tame the upper mids and the treble enough that i can basically listen to all kinds of music with this set and enjoy everything but you have the options to use the blue or the black nozzles for maybe like something that's really slow and warm and so on. So the conch. Again, it's a metal shell. All of the sets today except the Kiwi Ears Cadence are metal shells. Again, it's polished, it's gonna stick all your fingerprints, yeah, it's gonna be gonna get smudgy. It's vented, there's a base filter kind of thing here. It's a bigger filtered vent. And the nozzle design is fine. It's a very comfortable set actually. Uh, it's the most comfortable of all, all the five sets today. It's surprisingly light. And so about the sound. Um, the base is similar to the Simgot EW200. Uh, these sets don't have huge quantity of bass. But the quality definitely is there. Uh, they, they're similar in the sense that they have uh, dual magnetic circuits, they have uh, dual cavities, they have uh, uh, sufficiently similar drivers and, and configurations in that sense. Uh, so the base, the base is good. There's nothing, nothing I would uh, complain about it. If you want huge amounts of bass and rumble, then yeah, it's not a bass head set. None of these are. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you won't enjoy your bassy music with it. Still has some rumble, still has some quantity and, and definitely the quality. Good impact and so on. Moving to the mids, there's a lot of energy there for, again, electric guitars and such. Uh, it, it, it really grabs angry. <laughs> like this, this set looks hostile in the graph, but it's not. It somehow manages to not be really that offensive. But the treble is good, like it's airy, clean, crisp. It has the sort of qualities that you usually just do not find uh, in, in this price. So the Conch and, and, and the EW200 as well, they both are really upping the ante for, for this price point. They're showing the competitors that, that we are using drivers that we can tune 
to really shine. Uh, technicalities, it simply has the best text at this price. And it goes, it fights really high up. 50, 67, yeah, probably up there. And this one is incredible for 35 US dollars. It's probably mostly due to the really nice treble extension it has. And the note weight is like good all throughout. I really like the note weight on this, on this set. And with the tuning nozzles, the versatility is there. In, in ways that the other sets just can't compete with. Tangsu Sanjai balanced ear tips. Absolutely the best for this set, in my opinion. For every set that um, shines in the variety of treble music and upper mids, I usually prefer the Sanjai balanced. But yeah, that's the TRN Conch. Stupid good value for 35 US dollars. So, here we are at the conclusion. Simcot EW200 versus the TRN Conch. Maybe it's obvious if you listen to the Conch review. But I have to give the win to the conch. It's it's an easy one in the end. I, I had a lot of trouble listening to these things for weeks. Uh, because they're both so goddamn good. <laughs> like the 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 EW two hundred is still um, my one of my most used sets. Because I prefer the tonality. But even though I prefer the tonality, even over the conch, um, I, I that's as a reviewer I can't, I can't recommend the the EW two hundred over the conch because the conch has more versatility. You will probably find the sound you like with the conch much easier than take the gamble with the EW two hundred because this set is spicy. It's spicy. Hot. <laughs> the treble, treble sharpness, the brightness, it's gonna absolutely piss off people who want um, more of the safer, more... Um, I, I wouldn't want to say casual. It's not casual. They want fun. They want fun, lively, musical. That's what they want. And they mostly, of course, most people listen to pop music. Or some kind of combination of uh, pop and rap and R&B and whatever. Like those are the genres. And for anyone who doesn't like Bright, will find this sibilant probably. Otherwise, perfect. Otherwise, absolutely the number two set <laughs> in the 40 US dollar price range. And this is even five dollars cheaper MSRP. What the hell? And with the tuning nozzles. Yeah. The stock accessories I didn't really uh, mention that much. Um, yeah, I've upgraded to the Zonies. I use a lot of aftermarket tips, but the stock tips for both are actually fine and good. And the cables are not bad either. So, out of the box, both are great. But get the conch. The conch is absolutely the best you can get uh, for 40 US dollars. Yeah, what an exciting time to be into IEMs. Like, 35 US dollars, how? Okay, press like, subscribe, so I can do more of these. God damn, this is a cool hobby. <laughs> I love it. See you next time. Bye bye. And next up we have this uh,
Hertz out this is a Hertz sound. No, I said Hertz audio before. God damn it, it's Hertz sound. Seven Hertz, Hertz sound, se, Hertz seven. 